Ever wondered about how hot is your, for example, tube amplifier is running? And is it safe to have around with uh, pets and maybe kids? What about the components in this CD player? Are they all running at safe temperature? Or this tax, Astra capacitors and UC Pure, are they actually running at optimum temperatures? We all know they're hot, but like, how hot should they run? And so here we're gonna check with the thermal imager to see uh, how much we are talking about. So when you have a really close look, we can see that the temperature is around 138 Celsius or 285 Fahrenheit. While you may think that, well, this is too hot, this is actually normal for tube amplifiers. So if you have kittens or puppies or kids, uh, you might want to think about covering those. Now, some adult uh, uh, animals can actually sense the heat and actually stay away from it, but that's not a guarantee they will all do that. To measure the temperature, we are using a thermal imaging camera by k uh, It's the KT1 W01. Comes in a beautiful package, and uh, what I really like about it is actually it has a really nice uh, case, and uh, which comes in handy when you want to store it. And uh, this is the actual uh, camera itself. It also has a protection at the front, so when you're not using it, you're not gonna get the camera messed up. It seems pretty sturdy and, and nicely built as well. Now you can quickly, with a couple presses of the button here, by using the arrow, just switch to different modes. So you can actually see like a normal picture and still tell you the temperature if you like. So it's got a different uh, settings and different color uh, modes that you like. So what's nice about this is not only you're seeing, you can actually capture different uh, images. So anything you point and you click like this automatically, it gives you a message. Do you want to save this picture? And you just click again and it saves it. So that's as simple as that and stored on an internal uh, memory. And then you can download that to your computer and look at all the pictures that you want. So it's got so many, uh, so it's not just uh, walking through, you can actually, like I said, save those images. Uh, the settings, there's so many things in the settings, you can check this out. To settings, you can just go there, press enter, and say we want to change it to Celsius instead. Just do that, and just uh, flip it to Celsius. There we go. Uh, we're back to, now we're in Celsius mode, so you can see the temperatures in Celsius. So there's a lot of different menu settings. They're easy, easy to, to really navigate. Maybe you have a CD player and maybe something is not right, or you want to check to see if there's any components are running at too high of a temperature. In red, it's showing we have about 78 degrees Celsius here on some of those uh, resistors. Yeah, so these are the resistors that looks they look hot, so 70 degrees, so it's like, you know, holding a hot cup of tea, so uh, it's not bad. I think component starts to degrade once you reach 85 degrees Celsius and higher, then you're into uh, um, dangerous territories, because most components can uh, handle and they are rated around 85 degrees. Some are, if they're better, uh, 105 even, and there's a variation, of course, in between. Here you can see that those two resistors are indeed hot and there's actually a little transistor right beside them right here that's also uh, quite hot and that shows you the difference and you can see that the capacitors, the two big capacitors are actually not too bad, they're running around 30 degrees here. For example here, how high are those uh, TDA15418 chips uh, running? How hot are they? Are they within a uh, normal range? So we can see they're running around 41, 42 degrees Celsius or around 113 degrees Fahrenheit. And if we look at the uh, Gapster uh, D11 here, my DAC with all the different uh, in Canada parts. So let's have a look at that. So here we can see that uh, the UC Pures are actually uh, running there's a couple of components that are running at, you know 65 degrees so that's in charging mode because they're actually uh, consuming 
a lot of power and juices going through them to actually uh, charge those capacitors. But, you know, we are running at, what do we have here, 67 uh, degrees. And now that the uh, stopped actually charging, they reached uh, pure mode. You can see that actually things have cooled down. There's a less uh, super hot spot and the overall temperature is like 42, 45 degrees. So that's a little bit more, um, a little bit better. But even at 67, that's kind of normal. As I remember uh, one of my subscribers was kind of worried. So, oh, that's, uh, things are running hot. And said, how much it seemed like, and I measured, oh, that's it, 67. I guess that's not so bad. They can go up to 80. You're okay. I mean, preferably not, but yeah. This is something cool. It's a thermal image of my cat, and you can see that the eyes and the mouse a little bit are the hottest part uh, here, and that's probably the parts that are exposed more internally so you can actually kind of see how different surfaces uh, can uh, measure a little different. Now you can use a thermal imaging camera for so many things. Uh, you see it a lot in uh, construction and actually with building inspectors they can actually walk into your house and check if you have any leaks into your windows, if you have water uh, actually leaking into your roof uh, ceiling and stuff like that because water is cold and your rest is warm so it actually shows on the corners and stuff like that. Uh, like I said and same with the seams of the doors. You can actually even see where your ducting is, how it's running uh, so you can actually point at the floor and and see where are the heat ducts going. So it gives you a lot of information. There's so many uses uh, for it that you can actually uh, use. Uh, so electronic is just probably one small uh, portion of it, but this is probably for us uh, audiophiles, something that could come in handy, especially for those who are trying to fix uh, certain equipment. Uh, I'm just trying to show you guys what an imaging camera can do and just point out about some of the good ones because this one has everything built in. You got your screen, you got your uh, basically built in recording so you don't have to attach it to your phone and then go from there. So it's just a one unit you grab, click, click, you put it away and you're good to go. I'm going to put in the corner here a link about my uh, Gapster TD1 DAC and in here I'm going to put a link about 10 different songs you can listen to on your system. There will be a speaker in the middle like to subscribe and my Patreon link is in the description if you'd like to support the channel. Take care and I hope to see you again.